How you doing guys? Today I'm going to Slig, probably about 30 minutes uh, south from Portree. There's uh, a famous uh, old bridge. Got a couple of ideas, uh, other ideas of where to shoot. So I'm going to shoot by the bridge. I'm going to go further up. Apparently there's a, a house which is like on a on a peninsula. Uh, go super, super wide again. Uh, yeah, just try and get some dramatic shots uh, from today. <laughs> I just arrived at Slig. Um, normally this place is like full of tourists and uh, luckily there's not that many people around. So what I'm gonna do is set up on the, on the new bridge, face down towards the old bridge, try and get the two mountains in the background with the low hanging cloud kind of in between the two. So yeah, let's see how we get them. Right, so I've just made it up to the uh, to the top of the old to the top of the new bridge, sorry, um, facing the old bridge. So I'm going for the sli uh, slightly sl to the side shot. I'm just taking off the um, the skylight filter actually because what it's doing at 28 millimeters, it's actually vignetting. So I'm using the uh, Grad ND as well uh, to try and get a bit more uh, detail out of the out of the sky. There's not that much of a contrast uh, between the foreground and, and the sky, but I still want to try and push as much detail as possible uh, using the Grad ND. Quick note about the uh, settings I'm using. I've got it on ISO 100 because you want to get the the, uh, the cleanest shot possible. My setting for the, uh, the normal exposure is at uh, F16, F sub 16, and one eighth of a second. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bracket this. One bracket uh, with the correct exposure, one uh, two stops under and one two stops over. And then when I'm uh, back in Lightroom, uh, actually just blend the three images together. So that's generally how I shoot. Unfortunately, there's uh, just when I was about to pull the trigger, a whole bunch of people turned up and they're just sitting on the bridge now. So I'm just gonna have to wait for a little bit. That's, that's sometimes what landscape photography is uh, it's all about. 5% photographing and 95% waiting around and setting up. Uh, they're taking photos of each other sitting on the bridge. So, uh, well, fair play. I just hope it doesn't rain because it's, <laughs> it's time to get probably overcast now uh, but I just want to get the shot because the uh, the clouds are just amazing see it looks like they're moving yeah, that'll do sweet that's on self timer mode as well so that way there'll be less uh, camera shake okay that looks pretty awesome that looks quite decent So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going quite low with the camera. It's the peak of the mountain. It looks like the bridge has got like some sort of hat on or something. So I'm going quite low so I can actually cut that out, shoot up a little bit. There are quite a few midges out despite it being um, not so sunny. The, the wind is really calm, like there's hardly any wind. And so midges tend to like that. Um, so that's a little bit uh, annoying, but it's actually not too bad. I've not been bitten yet, so that's cool. on the way back to the car and um, I just noticed this <clears throat> I was just literally walking over the bridge and I saw this composition uh, I had to, had to quickly do it um, it looks pretty cool actually there's not a lot of water which is quite nice um, it's quite unusual so it's not like massively flowing so yeah so you've got the two mountains on either side you've got a nice leading line bracketed um, two stops over and under ISO 100 f16 one uh, thirteenth of a second Right, yeah, so just uh, stopped off along the way at this uh, <coughs> little lock. Um, I don't know if you can see it, that's just there in the background. Well, it's just literally underneath uh, the, the two main uh, mountains over on that side. So I'm hoping to try and get a bit of a mountain reflection in the lake, um, go for a slow shutter speed, how I come out, see how uh, that comes out. What I've done here is I've just gone low down, try to get some of these uh, these like uh, reeds or like grass or whatever um, into the foreground. Just that there's a little bit too much cloud uh, sitting on top of that mountain there, 
Um, it would be great if you could actually see the peak. Um, but, you know, you can't have everything. And, I mean, the clouds are just spectacular anyway. So uh, the sun's going to set in about half an hour. So let's quickly finish up here, get to the next uh, location, which is the one I mentioned about the uh, the house on the on the little peninsula. To reach the uh, beginning of the access road down to the the cottage, uh, the, the, it's, the place is called Alt Deg Moor. You can literally walk down. There's supposed to be some waterfalls down there as well. Um, so hopefully we'll get to see some of that. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly head down there. It should take about 10 minutes, I guess. Call that a waterfall? I've seen better, to be honest. Um, I'm actually struggling to get a decent composition here because uh, I mean, the waterfall is pretty piss poor, really. Uh, and there's not a lot of, I mean, there's rocks and stuff, but there's nothing leading you in. Uh, just a bunch of old pipes that the water's coming out of. Yeah, I'm not that impressed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on to the, to the cottage over there, wait until it gets a little bit darker, uh, find a, uh, a good uh, position, and just shoot away at the cottage. Now that is a much more interesting composition. Got the white cottage over there in the background. Got the, uh, this little river here leading in, away to, into the distance. Um, the water's pretty still as well, so you can get some detail of the, uh, the rocks that are, that are in the ground. So that's it. I'm pretty much done uh, for the day. Um, got some decent shots uh, from looking at the back of the camera. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to come out like pretty well. Shot about four, uh, well, three different places today. Uh, did the Sligacken Bridge. We did the lock further, further down the road, and we've done this this area here with the cottage and the uh, Sligacken River. I'm going to head home now, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, catch you soon.